Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Near Automata. We're playing as 9S again, and he is becoming more and more unstable, unfortunately. Um, our next official mission is to go check out the second of the resource collection units, get the second key to access the main uh, central tower structure. I oh, can't look at the map right now. That's fine. Um, yeah, last time we made an made a decision with A2 to neither kill nor delete the memories of Pascal. And I, I mean, I didn't really explicitly say what my reasoning was, just in case it wasn't clear. My, um, the reason why I did that was that I figured, well, killing is obviously out of the question, right? Um, and while deleting memories and thus getting rid of all the, all the feelings of guilt seems like a desirable thing, or it may have seemed like a desirable thing at the time for Pascal, um, it seems to me that like that would not actually be a good solution, right? And just walking away, um, or by me just walking away, he would eventually realize that it's better to live with whatever guilt he may feel, even though he's obviously not not responsible in any way, as far as I can tell. Um, and that maybe he will actually end up being grateful that I did not delete his memories, right? Because that would obviously delete not only the bad memories, but also the good memories and change the person that he is. So anyway, that's my reasoning. And I really, really hope that he's not, not just going to suicide because of it. I mean, I guess either way, either way, he would not have been the same person, right? Even by deleting his memories, unless the game meant to specifically delete the memories of the past, I don't know, uh, of a certain time span, while still leaving most of it intact. I don't know, but it didn't specify that, and uh, I don't know. It, it may not even have uh, consequences as far-reaching as I as I uh, make them out to be. I don't know. Anyway, long story short, I should probably also start my timer. Um, we are here in the forest arena because I was in the area. I was I did uh, some looking around for stuff. I have my item scanner equipped and I found a couple of chests in the forest area. I, I think a total of three or four. Um, nothing super exciting except for one locked chest pretty much in the center of the largest forest portion. I can't show you on the map right now, but uh, it's easy enough to find obviously with the, with the item scanner. And it was a uh, some kind of doll. Um, maybe it's not here. Maybe it's um, a piece of intel. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it here. Okay, so maybe in intel archives, infant machines memories. What? When did we get that? It's so dark, Mommy. I've been born. Mommy, where are you? What should I do? Tell me what to do, Mommy, please. I'll try my best. Please, don't leave me alone. I'm so lonely, Mommy. Um, okay. Old world info. Strange doll. Alright. A strange doll that was nailed to a tree. No, it wasn't a locked chest, but okay. Ragged and worn. It's unclear what this item was used for. That is strange indeed. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll find some kind of use for that later. Uh, anyway, for the time being, and the reason why um, I'm not just showing you the result of, of this next round that we've already tried a couple of times, if I remember correctly, is that upon entering here, I couldn't help but notice um, a couple new machines that weren't here before. So, I guess new new machines to control just get added as either the game progresses or I level up. Anyway, we have access to a flyer, which might work out well for us. We have... Um, I'm not sure if we had this big guy before. I think, maybe? I know we have this uh, medium-sized unit. Oh, yeah, and this guy. I, I don't think we had him... Uh, well, this is actually medium-sized. I don't think we had this guy available before, so that might... That looks promising. We have the flyer, and then on the other side we have one of these small flyers. And maybe he'll come equipped with uh, one of those mean-looking axis. Anyway, um, that seems to add enough new options that I want to try this whole thing again. 
and see what difference it makes. Right, we were actually only at rank 3, which is crazy. But we're level uh, 61 now, so... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's try something else, because I've tried all the old options exhaustively. Let's go with this guy. May not be the best choice. Yes. If he's even new. Fist or gun? Um, hmm. I don't know, let's try gun. We've, we've tried the melee approach with different units. And that hasn't really worked out so well for us. Oh, wait. Unless... Oh, please move. Hmm. Huh. Okay, laser. And he just targets a random unit, apparently. Oh, move out of the way! <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. Okay. I mean, the laser is nice. Oh! Oh, this is even nicer. Wow, this is actually extremely promising. Do we have a melee attack to get rid of his shield? No. Huh. How are we gonna handle this? With the laser? Okay, laser does pierce shield. Okay. Alright, this looks doable so far. Okay, that guy is a lot sturdier for some reason. Let's go with the laser. Huh. Didn't he just automatically turn when doing that before? Oh. Oh. Okay. Did he miss? Hold on, is that guy just too small to be hit? No. He was definitely hit. Okay. Oh. Yeah, well, dodging stuff is a different matter altogether. Spraying the bullets. Ouch. Hmm, this is incredibly inaccurate, of course. Yeah, even when blasting them head-on with a, one of those no, bullet sprays. What? Oh, right. Picking. Don't even try to dodge. This backward jump is so off-putting. Okay, that's one more down. I mean, on the plus side, we're taking very little damage. So, I'm being... Um, carefully optimistic here. But the next round, if I remember correctly, involves two uh, medium machines. Yep, those guys. And they can just use their own laser. Unless I do it first. Okay, actually, I didn't mean to. Um, did not mean to. Ugh. Oh, wow, I died. I did not look at my health at all. Holy crap, yeah. Um, dodging stuff is... gonna be hard? Wow. I mean, dodging stuff is the, is the biggest issue. Not getting hit and taking damage is uh, definitely my biggest problem with the, any of these challenges. So maybe I want something more mobile. I don't know if these flyers are gonna be that much more mobile, but... I'm gonna see, no weapon. No weapon? No weapon? I guess because they only ever come with, with the gun? Yeah. Oh, he does not not shoot. Oh, he does shoot. Oh, okay, never mind. Huh. I mean, he is actually very, very quick. Oh, but he only has... No, no, what? That's one attack. We can jump. Oh, we can actually fly a little bit. This, you know what? In terms of dodging, this guy is by far the uh, the easiest to do that with. Can we attack from behind? Piece of shield. Oh my god. All right. Uh, when pressing R two, I can't tell what that's supposed to do. He's just just kind of does a little backflip kind of thing, and. I'm unable to move or shoot or do anything for a while. Okay, he does the same with uh, R1, and R2 is not bound. Okay. Well, this is... Uh, this could be problematic. If I cannot attack shield units from behind... Oh, I can. Oh god, this is gonna be horrible. Well, there had to be some kind of major drawback. Oh no, please, just... Okay. Are there more shielded units in the next round? Because if there are, then... Good god. Okay, well. 
Okay, those guys die easily enough. Oh. Okay, took care of his gun. We can Why are some of these so awkward to hit? Please, hit him in the face. It's so awkward. What what's the hitbox? Why can't we damage him half of the time? Or more than half. Oh, if nothing else. Jumping above the bullets is an option now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I accidentally back, um, backstabbed. That's the thing that will happen. Okay, I mean, slow, slowly and surely, we should be able to win this one. Um, in theory, can you please actually aim at the enemy you're locked onto? Why do half of your bullets miss? This is so, so awkward. I'm not sure what part we even have to hit. There's so much spread for no reason. Are you even aiming? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should be aiming manually. I don't know. Nope. That does not help at all. Okay, let's just stand there and pray. Can we hit the referee? Maybe we, maybe we shouldn't. Okay, these guys actually take a lot of damage. Oh. Oh? What? Why exploding? You're so mobile. My god. This is unprecedented. Oh, please just... Okay, wow. This is so easy compared to any other unit in before the laser gets me. Or maybe not. And that's it, huh? Yep. For sure. Wow, so easy. I can't believe it. That's it. The choice of, of the right machine makes all over. the difference, as I expected. I just didn't expect to, you know, more units to just get at it later. I mean, why not just make them all available from the outset? Uh, your level being, or your the machine you control being your current character level, still limits you in what you can achieve, right? But it was... I'm... I don't know. It, for me, at least, it was definitely impossible to, to beat this round with the machines available before. But okay, here we are. Uh, heal drop, stun, hijack, boost, and combust. Alright. That was an ugly match. Uh, I mean, again, with this new machine, not such a problem. You sound like a true, fight, like true fighter. Good, good. Yeah, because I found the match ugly? Uh, anyway, I'll have to pause here for a moment. Um... I wonder how I'm gonna handle that. Well, I, I don't know. It shouldn't be, <laughs> shouldn't be your problem anyway. So, uh, we'll continue here shortly. Okay, we're back on air. <laughs> not quite. Back on the internet. Okay, sure. Why not? Next rank. Uh, rank four, level sixty. We'll see how this goes. However, I have a feeling. You know what? Um, I still. I have a feeling like the the flyer is actually my best choice. Well, the flyer I used before. Um, but I want to at least give this a try. Okay, it has its axe. So let's check that out. If it's as mobile... It's time to, uh, start the match. Are you okay there? Alright, let's begin. Try not to get hurt, okay? Well, thanks for your concern. Really not sure what that was all about. Okay, we're reasonably fast. We can... Fly. The question is, oh boy, oh god, we're almost dead already. Yeah, uh, I would really like to, you know, experiment a little bit. And oh, these are level seventy. Excuse me, this is ex this is recommended for level sixty though. Um, I would really like to experiment with my attacks. Oh, okay, R two is not bound. R1 is what we just saw, it's relatively slow. Well, I mean... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is L1, so that's normally my uh, range attack. <laughs> oh, oh god. Yeah, okay, this is not bad. Range attacks it is, although... Seeing how these are 10 levels above me, or 9 levels, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work so well. But at least we should be able to... Well, this first round should be 
trivial. It should just, you know, it might just take a while, basically. I mean, okay, we're still dealing decent damage to them, honestly. So this first round should not be an issue at all. Oh, there we go. First one down, second one down. Easy, easy peasy. That one almost hit, or could have hit, because I was not being very careful. Maybe if I stay relatively close, it's not going to try that using that attack. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, so long as we don't have, or as we, so long as we have enemies that don't shoot. Okay, those actually do shoot. In a way, okay. They have a ranged attack, those. But other than that, this is ooh, 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 okay. I mean, there's some element of danger to this, but for the most part, it should be reasonably safe. I'm assuming that they will, if and when they hit me. Ugh. Yeah, they deal. Pretty heavy damage, as expected. Oh god! Oh my god! I was not expecting that. <sighs> okay, well, so this is not trivial. I mean, the first round is... The second one... Can't kill me. The question is... How bad is the third round? And are there more than three rounds? And then... Obviously... If this round is this bad... Already... Um, the enemy's 10 level higher than the recommended level. I'm really not too hopeful about the rank after that. So this might, or this will definitely be, the arena that we beat last, that's for sure. Unless, I don't know, unless we unlock a Goliath machine that is super tanky and one-shots everything or something. I don't know. That's gonna be a thing. Okay, first round. Easy enough. I would really like to focus more on actually killing one of them. Obviously, reducing their number is gonna help tremendously. Oh boy. Was it that attack? I feel like it was a different kind of charging attack. Is that the one used? Yeah, it's... Look, this one? Oh my god. I should have jumped much earlier than I did. God, this attack is so inaccurate. Please kill him? Okay, good. Taking that one really heavy hit was not great. That gives me zero wiggle room for the final round. And also, I'm not actually hitting anything. They're also not shooting. Okay, now they are. <laughs> this could take a while. Okay. I can't stay in the air forever. But I can't stay for a good while. Oh god. Okay. Alright, let's give him that thing. It's not that bad. Oh, but getting stuck on the edge of the arena is bad. Oh my god. I was not sure about the range of that. Okay. No! Why? How did he hit me? He did not physically touch me. Hitboxes, dude. Ah. Oh no, I should have had that. Okay, one more serious try. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna wait a couple more levels. I mean, could using a different unit possibly work out? I think not. I think I really do need the mobility. That's That trumps everything else. The big guy might deal more damage, but I'm not even sure about that. The biggest issue is that he cannot just run around. First of all, he cannot run. His, his movement is too slow. 
And he cannot run around while shooting, I think. No, because his only his only attacks are that super inaccurate bullet spray, and he definitely needs to be standing still for that. So yeah, it's really unfortunate that most of the machines available are really not not competitive options. Unless you're severely overleveled, I guess. And just deal enough damage, but you can't really not afford taking damage at all. Especially when enemies deal as much damage as these guys do. Or especially the guys in the next round. Okay, getting some nice hits in here. Alright. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is not great. This is not great at all. I'm so dead. I... Nice stun lock, game. Nice stun lock. Really. I was unable to move or do anything. Wow. Okay, I guess try to not be in the, in the middle of the arena when the second round starts. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. first because it's already far down. Okay, don't take any stupid damage here, ideally. There we go, okay. Oh, they don't even land in the middle. It seems kind of random. Oh, this guy. Oh, no, no, no. I panicked and clicked the stick too much. Guys, hurt a surprising amount. Nope. God damn it. Okay, that's one down. I would. No, I didn't see him. Uh, I was focusing on the other guy. I did not see him start running. Okay, the only way to avoid that. I know I said one series attempt, but obviously. Would you. Did I not. 60, please. Yes. Uh -huh. All right, focus. Last attempt here, unless I die before... I guess, you know, an attempt where I re actually reach the second round. Second wave of enemies. Because I just want to see... Oh, I accidentally dodged again. It's the worst, because the dodging does nothing. Except make me immobile for a moment. It doesn't help at all. It's so bad. I wish I could just disable. I mean, technically I could disable dodging for the duration of these challenges, but that would be extremely um, inconvenient. So I'm not going to. <sighs> I didn't take a lot of damage, so that's good. And again, they land right on top of me. Okay. What? Again? I guess I, I got really lucky the first time. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, you know what? Forget everything I said. I want to beat this. This is definitely possible to do. I want to see what's after that. If, if the third round seems unreasonable, I'm not going to attempt any further necessarily, but I at least want to see it. Because that should be easy to do, or it should be so possible. To at least reach that. I'm just getting really unlucky with the second round and the game being uh, a piece of junk sometimes. It pains me to say it, but it's true. As much as I appreciate the gimmick of, of this arena in particular, 
it's just gameplay wise it leaves much to be desired never start charging and everything's gonna be fine. Spinning is okay. Shockwaves are kind of okay. I have not actually been hit by one yet. Oh, okay. Oh no, I did... How did I miss that? I... Yeah, okay. Sure. That was my fault. I was so I was focused on on the guy that was about to die, and I once again failed to notice that the guy was charging his running attack. It's that is entirely on me. Yes. But all those times where I actually did notice it, and I was well in, well in the air and above the enemy, and still got hit in one shot. You know, those it's those times that I'm getting a little bit salty about. I hope that's understandable. Okay, nice, nice. Maybe playing as one of these snail dudes would work out pretty well. Oh god. Not sure how I dodged that, honestly. Just a quick side hop. Okay, that guy's preparing the charge. Whew. I don't know. You also don't want them to be spread apart too far. Okay. Trying to focus on both. <gasps> oh, nice, nice, nice. One. One left. Okay. Stop dodging all of my attacks, or rather. I wish I could be a bit more accurate. Oh god, okay. This shouldn't be so bad. That was easy, in fact. What? Yeah, that wasn't the round. Oh no! Okay. Please hit! Oh no! No, 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 no! <laughs> what the? Ah! Oh, that was so unlucky! If I had been a bit more accurate destroying the second pack. <sighs> okay. Well, there are several rounds. More than th three rounds, obviously, but um, everything after the three crawlers was actually trivial. I mean, that I don't know, that, that Peller guy was just a joke, I suppose. But the Exploders, oh man, they're just an RNG fest. Basically hope that they spawn far away from you. I really hope that... I, I would like to believe that the game always makes them spawn on the far side of the arena, but... If not, I mean, I guess I could try flying and hope that that gets me far enough away, but the thing is you can only fly so high. And I'm really not sure if even max height is enough to evade... to avoid an explosion happening right below you. So yeah, that one, I'm not sure about. Uh, it seems again like mostly luck. Okay. Alright, this is the round that actually takes focus. Uh oh, I don't see the third enemy. I'm not dealing a lot of damage so far. Okay, we got two of them spinning. Damage is unfortunately very spread, very evenly spread between the enemies. Just 
not great. Not very helpful. No. Oh, crap. I mean, surprisingly... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have done this. Okay. At least the hitbox for their uh, jump attack is not as ridiculous as for their charge, it seems like. But yeah, as I, what I was trying to say is that uh, the Exploders, surprisingly, or the Suiciders, surprisingly, don't one-shot. In fact, well, at this point I'm probably gonna die if I get hit, so that's great. But you can definitely survive a hit. Oh, I should not have done that. That was... could have ended very, very badly for me. Anyway, yeah, I can definitely su survive one explosion, maybe two, so reaching that round with full health would definitely help. And now, killing the final one is gonna take forever, because I'm just not going to hit. Oh yeah, in your face, in your face. Okay, where's this guy? Maybe the, the exploders are always gonna spawn on the opposite end. Please just hit something. No, 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 don't! I think I killed him? Oh no! No, no, please fly! This is so bad. Fuck oh, off! Yeah, we've of course already seen that that was not the end. Oh no. Oh no! No, no, no! Stop it! It's over! The match is over! Okay, you know what happened there? I was in the process of flying, and that could have worked, but I, again, pressed the left stick just a little bit too hard, which caused me to quote unquote dodge, which stopped my ascension and. or my ascent, and. Uh, caused me to die, once again. I can't count how many times I've died to due to the stupid, nonsensical, useless, non-dodge move that these machines have. It's, I can't stress enough just how, how bad and useless that is. Alright. I've got enough. I, I need to do something else. This is... Well, we spent over half an hour here. I apologize. At least we did beat one round. But man, this is... This is not great. Uh, I guess I could. I really, I really want to attempt the next desert arena as 9s and see if uh, how well hacking all those enemies works. Uh, where am I even going over there? Um, so yeah, I would I would like to do that. On the other hand, I would also like to do something else. Than just you know, possibly failing over and over in the arenas to make this a uh, bit of a more interesting episode. But then again, I mean it's it is the game, right? So let's give it a shot. Maybe it's gonna work out really well. Oh, what? I guess enemies were following me. That's hmm, okay. Yeah, I mean, the, f the first round is... should be easy enough. Well, I mean, we'll see. Uh, right, we wanna head over there. I wish there was a bit of an of a faster way, a direct traveling option to these arenas. But oh well. Okay. 
Hello. Sure. Level 70. Okay, come on. Oh, you know what? You know what? I do not have the explosion thing equipped. Oh, and these guys do not die in one hot hit. One hot one hit. One shot. One hot hit. One hot shot. Oh, actually, they. Wait, no, never mind. They do take damage from their exploding friends. I, I thought for sure that I did not have the thing equipped. But maybe I'm wrong? So that hacking happened extremely fast. Okay, oh, oh. Never mind. Thought we were done, but there are more enemies here than I remembered. It's okay. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, this. Hmm. I thought destroying an enemy via hacking healed me, just like killing them normally, but maybe not. Maybe I should move. Oh no! Oh god. That was scary. Oh, what am I doing? Sitting there, frozen. Okay. Oh god. Nope. Oh, he's surprisingly hurt, I guess, from enemies exploding near him. Okay, this so far is definitely a lot more doable. Oh, well. Minus the awkwardness of this particular tanking minigame. Come on, come on. Um, um, just try to get some shots in. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so far this seems a lot more doable than the uh, regular fight with my NES, just because yeah, I'm so much less dependent on actually moving and so much less in danger of falling off of those awkward platforms. <coughs> right. I had actually forgotten that we had seen the next round already. Oh, this is an easy one? And one that I don't remember seeing. Hmm? Looks like the same one? No. Yes. Similar anyway. Ouch. Don't die, please. Okay. It's so helpful that you can sometimes, usually, chain, oof, chain hacks together very quickly. Oh, there's something over there somewhere. Um, okay, there we go. This looks promising so far. Oh, that's that. I didn't even... I wasn't even sure if that was the last enemy. Thank you. Well, that's nice. After the failure in the in the forest arena. Mm -hmm. Damage absorb, vengeance, and anti-chain damage. All right. Thanks, I guess. I, I'd really appreciate some some kind of cosmetic items more, some costumes. Or, you know, really, anything. It is said that rules... It is said that rules exist not to bind us, but so we might know our freedoms, and yet I somehow feel constrained by them. Yeah, well... Think, then, how our great ancestors must have felt. Think how terrible it must have been for them. Why? They had fewer rules. Huh. Sure. Is this the... Final challenge, maybe? Possibly? I'm not actually sure. Level 80. I mean, this could go very poorly. Oh. I, I see. Win without getting hit. I mean, 
honestly, it shouldn't be that bad. Maybe? It might not be that bad. Well, that hacking that guy took a while. I wonder if oh, that probably includes... Well, maybe not getting damaged in the hacking minigame, but... It definitely involves not losing a hacking minigame, because that damages you. Bro. I mean, it would be kind of kind of neat, actually, and understandable if the game made me lose if I take any damage in the hacking game. Mean, but you know, actually, actually fair. I still hope it's not the case, and I'm. If I had to guess, I would say that it's probably not the case, but I'd rather not. Right, yeah. Well, also, destroying these enemies takes forever. Thanks to them being so high level. It's one down. I wonder if taking out the big guys first is not the best idea, maybe? I mean, honestly, it shouldn't matter, because I have to kill them all anyway. Okay. Well, I did not lose yet. <laughs> so... Yeah. Nope. Oh, 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 that was... Could have been bad. Here's the shield. Lame. Fine. Do it like this then. Thankfully, all the others should just be simple uh, mini games. I think. And this goes significantly faster. Yeah. Okay. That helps a lot. But they will still require several hacks each of them these small guys. Uh, I should also really try to get some distance between me and the enemies. You know, just to feel a little bit safer. And then this is only the first round. Obviously, who knows? Um, subsequent rounds are definitely gonna have some sort of ranged attacks and uh, other cheap tactics. It's obviously I'm not employing cheap tactics, what are you talking about? I think it's totally legit. think that it wasn't possible to change chipsets, for example, during a fight? Hmm. Um, let's see here. I just want to check what I have. Item scan. Right. Obviously, I don't need that. But I wonder why... Yeah, I definitely don't have the, uh, the stun chip equipped. Um... All chips. It's time for six. Yeah, that's way too expensive. How much do we have? Uh, the item scan is six, so we have uh, so have eight points available. That's not a whole lot. We could use the sun plus two that I think we have been using. We had been using before. Mm. Combust. Short circuit. I think this. Probably only works when you actually uh, sneak up to an enemy, right? That must be an, an additional option, like uh, hijack. 
And I'm pretty sure this doesn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go with stun instead of item scanner. That should definitely be more immediately useful. Could get the guy in the middle. Doesn't really matter. I think they might also be explosion proof because of their shields anyway. I don't know, never mind. This definitely helps. A lot. Wow. <laughs> this helps so much. Wouldn't have helped that much against the big guys, I guess. This is really neat. Theoretically, I could equip a lot more stun chips or, you know, super high level stun chips temporarily. In fact, why don't I? It's a. I mean, the. the I guess I can tell you why. The, the main reason why I'm just not switching chipsets much more often than I do is because it's so awkward to do. It's really not very intuitive. And, you know. I don't know really how you could handle this system a lot better, but there must be ways. Okay, let's see here. Um, I guess I just want more stun, ultimately. The problem is I cannot equip that. I cannot equip these because they are so expensive that I can't override more than one uh, chip at a time. 20 meter blast and long stun. That sounds really good. Um, yeah, this is a huge chunk, though. I will have to get rid of... What are those? Oh, that's drop rate of moving speed. Okay, um, I wish I could... Uh, well, okay, I'll have to remember. Moving speed plus four. Drop rate plus four. Obviously, it's not going to help during this fight. I don't know how... Stun stacks? I can only assume that it does stack in some way. Okay, 25 meter blast and stun for 5 seconds is the max. That's fine. Oh boy. Big things are coming. Okay. Start hacking right away. Give them no time to do anything, ideally. Ouch. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to... Oh, wow, that actually hits them all the way over there. This is crazy. This is crazy good. Yes, it does take a huge amount of, of uh, capacity, but... Wow. For this situation specifically, it's so, so good. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it actually increases um, damage of the explosion, necessarily. But, I mean, slow and steady wins the race and all that. Considering this is a level 80 challenge and, you know, possibly the final round. I'm really not sure where, I'd, where I'm getting that idea from. Wow, what? Please keep hacking. I don't know why that sometimes happens. Sometimes the game allows you to basically hack while... Uh, even before the, the slowdown has, has fully faded. And then other times it just doesn't do anything when you press the button. Which is really scary in a situa situation like that, where you're actually, your life actually depends on it. Okay, there we go. And sometimes it also just keeps filling the circle until it's complete. Other times, 
um, it stops halfway through and you have to restart the heck. Maybe that's just, I don't know, maybe... Even though I think I that I keep the, the trigger pressed. Yeah, like right there. And then there's a an awkward little delay where nothing happens. Weird. Anyway. Who knows? Oh, no! Ah. You gotta be kidding. You In cannot be serious. Screw you. Wow. Just wow. That was... Without any forewarning, without any charge-up time, the thing just fired its laser. Why was it not stunned? Why didn't it... Jesus. That was so freaking unlucky. Oh, no. Yeah. That was so unfortunate. Was that the final round? Possibly? Maybe? Uh, probably not, though. But even then... Wow. I um, I mean, I guess first and foremost I did not expect those guys to be able to shoot a laser, but even if I had known about that, there was obviously nothing I could have done. I don't know why he suddenly start, stopped being stunlocked. I mean, sure, that's a very cheap tactic, but it worked until it suddenly randomly stopped working. So that's great. Um, I'm very tempted to just attempt the whole thing again and pause until I reach that round and possibly the final enemy of that round because it's just going to take so long. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, at this point, there's no point in uh, starting anything else in this episode. So, sorry, but I guess this is an arena-only episode. Uh, well, it's what it is. Okay, we're back. Uh, that took a lot longer than I would care to admit. Uh, we're down to the final guy in this group, the second wave. Um, there were a couple of cheap deaths, including one where I was down to the last guy again, and I actually um, got careless and died during a... Or actually, I timed out during a hacking minigame. Which is the worst thing ever. Anyway. What will we get next? Oh boy. Something big. If we can get them stunlocked, though. Oh god, this is actually a, a scary hacking game. Oh no. Okay, just kill the thing. Don't time out. Whew. Okay. Oh, they're both stunned. Okay. This helps tremendously. If I can... If I can not fail hacking. Oh boy. Yeah, these are going to be more elaborate now. Because Goliath class. Also, the camera is not really my friend here. Okay, the guy in the background is moving. Um, that, that must be... Oh. I touched that. Oh no! Oh no, don't. Don't lose your nerve! I almost... I almost did. Okay, okay, no problem. We got this. Holy crap, that was way too scary, because uh, in case that had not actually happened on camera, I'm not entirely sure if it did. Uh, yes, failing the, um, the hacking game and taking damage because of it does count as taking damage, and thus fails the uh, arena. So, yeah, that's neat. Okay, I really don't even see the guy in the background. I can only hope that he actually is stunned. It looks like he was. Looked like he was. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 don't. Not like this. Two more for this big guy. Okay, okay. So far so good. One more. 
please. This is super tense, by the way. Easy. Last guy. Oh no, he. No! I did not expect him to. Oh, he was. Was he electrified? Yeah, he's freaking legs. The hitbox. Oh, this is soul crushing. After. Oh, it took me so long to reach this point. Oh god. Ah. Okay. Should I. Should I keep going until I reach this point again? Oh, this, it just takes so long. <sighs> okay, one final attempt. One final attempt. I, I'll i try to... I don't know, if, if I can't do it within a reasonable amount of time, I'm going to give up for today, but I'll give it a couple more shots trying to reach the, the third round. Uh, with only one of the big guys standing and continue from there. Please wish me luck. Okay, once again, we're back. Uh, this only took like 30 minutes and four more attempts because, you know. I'm, I actually make it to this final round pretty or very, uh, very consistently, but uh, I have died to the mini games, the hacking games during this uh, final phase a couple of times. We're down to the last guy and actually just kill him, please. Um. Oh, freaking hell, I made it, okay. Yeah, sorry for skipping basically the entire fight, but I did not trust myself to not lose my nerve in, in the last moment. The final trial? Oh, thank goodness. Ugh. The true masked one, thank you. First, let me bestow upon you this sand mask. Okay. And as a little extra, I shall also grant you these clothes. Destroy your outfit? Please tell me that's something for Ninas. It is said these clothes were worn by the man who destroyed the world. However, as you can see, the world still exists, so I'm sure it is but a mere legend. In any case, congratulations to you. As the one conqueror of the trials, you have earned the title of king. We know not what one is entitled to as king, save that the post carries an exceedingly heavy burden. From this day forth, you shall serve as an example to us all. You must follow each rule to the letter, so that we might also strive for such perfection. And yet, there may be times where tolerance is required, so let yourself not be bound by rules if such a need arises. Hmm, that's an interesting thing to say for a member of their tribe. For it is said that the people of this land met their end at the hands of their own rules. Trial of Sand complete. Oh boy, okay. Well, uh, I honestly have no idea where we are time-wise, because I, I stopped really looking at my timer, or, you know, stopping and restarting my timer at some point. Um, but I'm going to take a look at what we got. Let's see here. Um, destroy outfit. An outfit for A2 that may or may not have been belonged to the man who destroyed the world. Okay, well. Sorry, element to stamp card. Wait. Where is the sand mask? Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. Huh, I mean. Sure. I, uh. Okay. It's not where I would choose to wear it. Especially since he ha he's wearing a blindfold anyway, so. I guess he's not really using his eyes, but that's fine. I mean, I, it doesn't look particularly great, but uh, I'm definitely going to wear it as token of, of my victory at long last. Oh man, that was uh, that was not nothing. Uh, sure, I did it 20 levels lower than I needed to, I guess, but still, it should not have taken me as long as it did. Uh, Alright, okay. Anyway, feels good to finally... Uh, have conquered this this trial and I will end the episode here uh, it's probably a bit longer than an hour honestly but uh, yeah it's what it is uh, sorry if this is not super exciting uh, or this has not been super exciting to watch I don't know um, 
next time we're definitely going to continue with the story since uh, yeah I don't see myself beating the the gamblers Coliseum or uh, although I guess yeah hacking it might be possible but no no I think I'm good for the time being uh, and yeah we've seen that the um, the other trial in the forest is not really feasible at this point anyway um, so we're gonna continue with the main story I'm also rambling I need to take a break this has, I don't know, recording this one hour episode has taken well over two hours. That's uh, enough Nier Automata for one day. So, uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this somehow. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye. Never mind, I guess I'll add this to the end of the episode. Um, just as I was, just as I entered the lift and started going up. Uh, this appeared, so I guess we do get something, um, some kind of conclusion to this quest, this arena quest, after all. In order to advance through the darkness, one requires a guiding lifeline. However, if one lets oneself get too restricted by these chains, one is doomed to lose sight. Okay. Is that it? Seems like it. All right. Um, just making sure that I arrive safely at the surface. So it's taking longer than usual, is it? Isn't it? Okay. Here we go. Do you have anything to say, perchance? Your Majesty, everyone is waiting for you up ahead. Uh, I mean, I don't really have a reason to ever return down there, though, do I? Maybe at some point I will take a look just to see if something changed, if there is something to do now that we're king. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, um, thanks again for watching, I guess. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.